Oh, right, YouTubers, welcome back to Angry Nerd Gaming. I mean, Angry Nerd's Honey Do List. Haven't been able to game very much this past couple of weeks. Been working on a wifey project. This is what I've been doing. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to give you detailed instructions on how to build a hanging bed similar to this because I really didn't know what I was doing. But that might be a good thing for you because if I can do it, that means you can probably do it too. What I am going to do is show you a compilation of several short videos I took with my phone throughout this process. And if you're interested in doing something like this, maybe you seeing me complete this with the limited carpentry skills that I have will inspire you to try it yourself. So, here we go. All right, YouTubers. Oh, my wife is putting me to work again. She thinks that I'm a better carpenter and handyman than I actually am. Look at the amount of spackle that uh, I'm having to do to this wall. I haven't sanded it yet. Look how much spots were just in this closet. Still, I just took the um, blinds down, so I have to spackle these spots and the spots where the cords were in the corners there but she wants me to build a loft bed that goes in the corner of this room right here so it will be secured to this green wall right over here and to this one the wall won't be green anymore um so it'll be secured to those two walls and a chain from the ceiling so it's like a semi-floating bed i will put a ladder um right over here by the window somewhere but yeah lots of work for the nerd i'm a nerd i'm not a handyman. Oh, right, YouTubers. A little project update. Um, the other night, well, last night, I went around and put a little bit of ceiling white around the top edge. Right? I'm not uh, not gonna paint the whole entire ceiling because you get to painting. I hate this popcorn ceiling but it was in here when we bought the house but anyway um you start painting that and it starts flaking off and stuff and i'm just not into it and it still looks uh, halfway decent so yeah but anyway by doing that it covers up the color that was originally there and that way when you're running your new trim line right you have your new color over white. And so you can make a nicer um, trim line. It'll look better when we get the whole wall painted. My wife likes to do two different colors in each room, a light and a dark. So this wall is going to be dark. This wall is going to be dark. And this wall is going to be light. And this wall is going to be lighter. And if you are interested in doing that, make sure that you do your lighter color wall first. You can go ahead and run that light color all the way in the, in the corner. Don't worry about getting it on the other wall or anything. That way when you go back and do your darker edge, you got dark coming over light and it will make an, an easier, a nicer line 
and the darker will cover the light easier than the light will cover the dark. And if you do it the other way around, you might have to do a couple of coats uh, in that corner to get the light to cover the dark. And the more coats that you have to do, the more opportunity there is to mess up. Another tip, and I'm sure everybody knows how painting, how to paint by now, but sometimes we um, pick up tips and stuff. And I picked up a lot while I was doing that other house. And this is one of my favorite tools. We've tried all kind of edging tools and stuff, but this simple little thing, and what I do is, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but I don't put the um, pad all the way to the top. See how I slid that back a little bit? And by doing that, right, you can create uh, an edge where this touches either the ceiling or the door frame or the other wall or whatever you're edging up against. And you can set the distance by just how far you put that. Now, I had it set, but where I wanted it, but uh, just dip in. See if we can run a line right here. Now, like I say, this needs to be a little closer to the wall. I'm trying to do this hand film, but that is the least expensive and what I have found the best um, little edger that you can get right there. And don't, li don't leave that little line there. Always smear that out where you'll... Project update. I'm on to cutting wood. <laughs> the limited tools that I have, a skill saw, a hand sander, and a jigsaw. That's what I'm working with. Now, well, I do have um, square over here and a couple of little clamps and saw horses. But, uh, yep, borrowed a trailer. Went and got the lumber. And uh, got a little bit of it cut today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I've moved uh, stuff out of this little carport and I'll be able to cut in here tomorrow, but my wife says I'm done for the night. So we're on to building. Okay, project update. Um, I didn't have a ceiling joist anywhere close to where I needed it um, because my ceiling joists are 24 inches on center. So, yeah, I'm trying to come up with a solution. That's where I need it. Um, more updates to follow. Okay, this was my solution. I ran a two before with a couple of joist hangers. Between these two, I pre-marked my location uh, by drilling up through the ceiling. So I know this is exactly over where I need the hole. And then I will set that lag bolt um, into this two before. And that should be pretty good. I screwed it in instead of hammering in for two reasons. It was a really tight location. And two, I thought the screws would be a little more secure than nails. So hopefully my daughter won't fall on the floor. All right, we've been doing some constructing today. Um, we got the chain mounted in the wall or in the ceiling. All right, I think this ring here is rated at 
1,800 pounds. The chain itself is 1,900. Uh, we went with the 1,900 because, I don't know if you can see it, but the chain is white. So, you know, kind of fits with the trim. It totally aesthetic. Um, this is the bed. At least the top of the bed. This will hook into the chain. Um, it goes through and has a washer on the other side as well. So the top is set down in the two by six so that you don't see the rough edge of the plywood. And this is the premium white face plywood. Um, it's, it's nice. So anyway, I need to square this bed up. I have a couple of um, brackets over here. It's mostly square, but it just needs ever so slightly to square up. And uh, it seems to be fitting pretty well. It's heavy as sin. But let me show you. I'm gonna set you down for one second. Okay, you're back. Oh, I got it sitting on a block of wood over there. But here's the bed. Everything is set down in a half an inch. Um, I'm just gonna go back and tack these um, two before cross members in with some screws because I was thinking that although it seems to be pretty well constructed, there's only two screws there and two screws there. So I'm gonna have 16 lag bolts going into the wall but that won't matter if I only have two screws in that corner and two screws in this corner that are actually holding the bed to the wall. I mean, the that will be over there totally secure, but I'm gonna go ahead and secure the two by fours in through that two by six. And uh, this thing won't go anywhere. And uh, this thing will go up on the wall tomorrow so anyway project update okay the bed frame is mounted to the wall so we're hooked in here we're up to the ceiling over here we are lagged into the wall with 15 lag bolts. Um, I did go back and screw in the two by fours and go across the middle. So yeah, this is where my daughter wanted it. And so the door just opens right to there and it fits it's bigger than the regular mattress because in their their idea was that the mattress would not take up the entire platform so that there would be a little place uh, off to the side of flat platform for setting of drinks and alarm clocks and things of that nature so I took it uh, pretty close to this window which means the stairs are actually going to come down across in front of the window but this thing is pretty secure and let's put this up here fairly level so yeah 
We got some railings to put up, stairs to build, um, some lights to wire possibly. That's still up, up in the air. But the main frame is up. So back to work. Okay, another bed progress report. We got most of the railings up. I got the top two. I need to put a third one in here. So, yep, yeah, this is how the chain fits. It's kind of tucked right beside the railing here. This is really secured in here. Quite nice. Need to erase that line. Um, for the rails that I do have up, they're secured in like this. This is still the frame. Of, the top is there. I'm gonna take it out and give it another sanding with 320 just to finish that sanding off before I bring it in here and hoist it up on here. Oh, right, you tubers. My portion of the room redo is done. So this is the completed bed. The mattress will come in and get put on tomorrow. Um, I forgot what that kind of pillow is called, but yeah, that's what it looks like from the top. Stairs. And the stairs are set in. And they are two by um, six, so they're actually pretty reasonably be comfortable to stand on. The bottom of the bed is complete. There is a spot for cords. And the same on the top, another spot for cords. Same on the top. We have the railing for the um, curtain that my wife has one more panel to make. And then we'll put that up as well. So the curtain will hang down to the bottom of the bed frame there. So that's up. Um, shade is up. Um, desk is in. So light is up. Got to do some cord maintenance still, but we want to figure out where all the stuff is. Gwen will be bringing in a couch and stuff tomorrow. It was raining today. And we didn't want to carry it out around in the rain. But yeah, my construction project is over. Yes. I'm so happy. I'm going to go play some World of Warships. Yes. Thank you.